Hi guys, this is Prashant Shukla aka Gastro Guru again and today we are going to cook some pasta. So here I have about a pound, two cups, two and a half cups of rigatoni pasta that I have been boiling in salt water and which is almost done so I'm going to drain that a little bit and then on the other hand I have a pan which has been you know heated for a while and to that I'm going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm going to swirl the oil in the saucepan so that it coats it nicely and then in that I'm going to be the searing, not fully cooking but searing about one big chicken breast which I have cut finely and then I have added salt, red pepper powder, a lemon juice and it's been like marinating for about an hour. So into this hot pan and olive oil goes small pieces of chicken breast. So as you can see the pan was nice and hot and you can hear the chicken sizzle. And that's what I want. I want to sear and brown the chicken before I add the tomatoes and the rest of the ingredients. Then you can see the chicken turning brown but also it's got a red tinge to it because I had, like I said earlier, marinated that with red crushed red powder, pepper powder, salt and lemon juice. So once the chicken is brown and has a nice sear, I'm going to add other ingredients like tomatoes and butter and salt and pepper and then we are going to finish it off garnish it with capers, sun-dried tomatoes and parmesan cheese. Oh yeah, this rigatoni with chicken, the pasta is going to taste amazing and you'll see it once it's all done. So now the chicken is Cook. It's got a nice sear, you know, it's browning nicely. So to that now I'm going to add four finely chopped aroma fresh tomatoes. And we'll give it a quick stir so that the tomatoes mix with the chicken and they start creating bit of a sauce. I mean this is not going to be your typical marinara sauce where you know the chicken or the pasta is swimming in red tomato sauce. This is tomato you know it's going to just enhance the flavor and it's going to be more of a semi dry kind of dish. So while the tomatoes are cooking with the chicken and softening up and slowly you know they'll start to crush and create a bit of a sauce I'm going to start adding other ingredients. So in goes three cloves of finely chopped garlic. Because what pasta or pasta sauce is good or tastes good without freshly chopped garlic. So you saw that the garlic went in and now I'm going to do the quick stir. The, the next ingredient that's going to go in is what they call Italian soup mix or a sauce mix. So which this is finely chopped fresh thyme, oregano, basil. And all that is going to really 
enhance the flavor, you know, the aromatics. They're gonna really make the sauce and the pasta and the chicken taste awesome. I can already start smelling, you know, the herbs as they're mixing with the tomatoes and the smell is just really refreshing, heavenly. So we're going to lower the heat a bit. And then the next ingredient that's going to go in is some salt. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then if need be, I'll add a little bit later on. So salt and pepper is always to season, to your personal taste and liking. The next thing that's going to go in is about a pinch, about half a teaspoon of black pepper powder. That's crushed black pepper powder. So that's in there. Then I'm going to give it a stir again so that we continue to mix and blend in the flavors of all the herbs and spices with the tomatoes, the freshly cut the Roma tomatoes and chicken. Now, to give it a little bit more of an oomph, I'm going to add about one and a half tablespoon of unsalted butter. The butter, what it's going to do it, is give it a very rich, luxurious taste and the sauce is going to taste amazing. The butter does, you know, enhance the flavor and make everything rich, smooth, silky, and tastes amazing. As you can see, the sauce is also begin to thicken a bit. The tomatoes are melted, but the butter is adding a bit of a body to the sauce. And so you can see now how it's nice and smooth and rich. One other thing that I'm going to add to it is about half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Now, if need be, we can always add more pepper or salt, but I don't want to put too much ahead of time and make it overly spicy. Look at that, how lovely it looks. Fresh tomatoes, fresh herbs, a little bit of butter, and then olive oil. Now to this, what I'm going to do is, I have, you know, made this, boiled this pasta rigatoni and it's al dente and before I drain it I'm going to be adding a little bit of that pasta starchy water to our tomato sauce. Now what that's going to do is to give it a nice flavor and a bit of a thickness the starchiness that is going to really make it taste really awesome. Then I'm going to give it a quick, quick stir. So now we have that about two ladles worth of salty, nice, starchy pasta water, which is take the flavor to the next level. The flavor of the tomato sauce with the chicken in it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the pasta into a colander. The rigatoni is al dente, neither too hard nor too soft. And that I will toss that into the tomato basil chicken sauce. Now we're going to mix it all up and then let it cook for a little bit so that all the sauce coats the pasta nicely. Now 
Now at this time I'm going to do a couple more things. I'm going to add a little bit of the unsalted chicken stock, about a cup of it. Because chicken stock is going to give it another depth and add to the flavor. Remember this is rigatoni with chicken, so the chicken stock is going to make a nice base and give it a really nice flavor. Now while this is cooking, what I'm going to do is start adding a few other items. So a little, a little bit more of the extra virgin olive oil. about a tablespoon and a half of Parmesan cheese so the rigatoni with chicken so I have plated the pasta the rigatoni with chicken I have garnished it with capers some dried tomatoes and fresh degraded Parmesan cheese and now I'm going to give it a taste mm. which is awesome so, folks you have it rigatoni pasta with chicken capers and tomato sauce and and butter 